If you've got an old wall outside in the garden and you want to find a way to uplift it, why not add some trellis? It makes such a difference as you can see. And most importantly, it's so easy to do. I've got another portion around the corner here which needs to be finished off. I'm going to take you through all the steps and show you how simple and easy it is to mount to the wall. Now, there's a number of different ways of installing this onto the wall. The way I'm going to do it is make use of some nail and anchors, drill some holes through the timber into the wall and then knock them into place. So let's have a look at the materials I'm going to be using. I've got one piece of pre-treated trellis and I'm going to be mounting it to the wall with some nail and anchors. They're 6mm by 80mm long. As for the tools that I'm going to need for this, I'm going to use a pencil, a tape measure, a spirit level, a hammer, a drill and a drill bit. Now, if you're going to be drilling through to wood and to concrete, you're going to normally need two drill bits. A wood bit, 6mm, and a masonry bit. And you'll also need a hammer function drill. I don't have a hammer function drill, so I'm using a normal cordless drill with a multi bit. Now, what I really like about this bit is it's designed to drill through wood and concrete. You can use the same bit for two functions. Let's get started. The first step is to decide where you want to mount your trellis. Well, I've got this wall section here. Obviously, I'm going to put it in the middle section. I want to match it up to the same height as the existing trellis that I have there. So I have the same line going all the way around the wall. So measure the center and then measure the center of the wall. So we've got the position of our trellis. We're now going to drill some clearance holes around about 100 mils down from the edge. Now, it's always advisable to put it on the side style of the framework. That's where it's taking all the load opposed to the top. As it ages over time, that could tend to fall off. So put it on the side section. I'm going to measure down around about 100 mils. One on either side. When it comes to the bottom, I'm just going to put one in the center. Making use of our multi which goes through wood and concrete. Now, here's the trickiest part of the DIY. Holding it in place, keeping it level, and drilling the holes. The easiest way I find, as I'm normally on my own, is to hold it into place, I think I've got it roughly right, lined up with my mark, and then drill the first hole. Use that as a marker. Then I can carry on drilling that hole, pop in my first nail and anchor, and that's basically one hand helping me hold that trellis into position whilst I make sure it's level. I can make the mark where my first hole needs to go, drop that down, and then carry on drilling that first hole. Pop in my nail and anchor, line it up to the hole, and that's the first piece in position. Now I can take my spirit level and pop it on the sides and make sure I get it level. Now, when you're working with a piece of trellis like this, they're not always straight. So get it as level as you can with the spirit level and then take a step back and level it with your eyes. You'll be surprised that you can see if something's off pretty quickly. When you think you've got it level and you're trying to step back to double check, I'll just use a prop to hold that in position so it doesn't swivel down and then we'll step back and take a look. Right, why aren't you happy with that? Grab your drill again and mark your top hole and your bottom hole at the same time. Now you can drill all the way through or you can slide it out the way so you can get better access. Okay, we'll swivel that back up and pop in our last two nail and anchors. Now, once you've got it fitted, it's a good idea just to put some drainage holes at the bottom, especially if there is a trough section at the bottom of your trellis. That's just going to catch water over time and it's going to start rotting the timber in due course. So just put some drainage holes that allows it excess water to drain through. That's it. The last piece of trellis is securely mounted to the wall. And what a difference it has made to this boring, ghastly concrete wall. I didn't have to paint it. All I did was drill a few holes, throw in some trellis, mount it to the wall, and I've got that cool cottage Tuscan look, which is so easy to do. I love the final look. I know my wife is going to be over the moon. I'm definitely going to score some brownie points. Remember, there's everything as you need is available at your local builder's outlet. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to the Builder's YouTube channel. There's a range of product reviews, how-tos, and DIYs just like this for you to be inspired to get to Builder's and get it done.